Kyle Larson struck gold, won at Dover, ending his winless streak. Everybody thinks that perhaps he is the most dangerous driver at Miami. Everybody wants to get there. The path can be very difficult, and the path was pretty difficult this weekend. Had those blue, bruised ribs from Talladega. We talked to him after the race in Kansas. We want to know how you're feeling. How are the ribs? Um, I got a shot in my butt <laughs> before the race, and I have like a patch on me. And uh, actually, you know, the first little bit of the race, I felt great. Got more tender as the race went on, uh, but we were able to, you know, fight through it and, and be good. It, it hurts right now, but um, you know, at least we we're able to finish and not not crash or anything like that. So I'm going to say that I appreciate Instagram and social media for that because I think we, me specifically, forget how dangerous these things are. He wrecks at Talladega and everything's fine. No, everything isn't fine. His ribs hurt. He was in the race car. We could debate whether he should have been in there. You've given your opinion. We've all given it. I think at this point, he was in. He raced. It's over. What's the pathway for Kyle Larson to Miami moving forward? Uh, not his best tracks. Uh, you know, <laughs> when we look at the stats, and you can throw a lot of that out. I understand that you know they've made their race cars a lot better. I think he's changed his driving uh, a little bit too. But you still see things that are going on that are tough. I think that he should. Again, I said this yesterday. He should have set that race out uh, because you have that option this day and time with the, the way the points are. He had already made his way through uh, to the next round. I think that it would have been good to heal that up because Martinsville is not going to get better. You're going to get beaten uh, around there. You're going to get hit. You're going to hit the curb occasionally. All of these things. I'm speaking from experience to where it took more than one shot, but I'm a lot bigger than Kyle Larson. Uh, but it, those things, it, it wears off and and uh, through those races. And it makes it really, really difficult to, to manage and focus on the job at hand. Jeff, when I look at the 42 car and Kyle Larson, I look at Martinsville as a finish. Finish in the top 10, finish in the top 12, finish on the lead lap. Go there and expect to struggle. Protect whatever points you have and hope other people make mistakes because I think he can figure it out at Texas. And I think he can figure it out at Phoenix. My concern is this weekend, right? If he takes that 21, or excuse me, takes that 19 point deficit and makes it 30 or 40 or 50, I don't think it's recoverable. I mean, yeah. You know, he has to protect this weekend. Yeah, I, I, listen, they got they to find a way to, to get points out of this weekend. They've got to do whatever they can to, to, to collect points because points are going to matter. They just are. They, not everybody's going There's to – four I mean, seats yes, and three winners. Yes. So, so, yeah. so you've got to, on a bad day, find a way to claw out stage points. You've got to find a way. And if that means giving up what you think gives you the best shot to get the best finish – do it. Get your points when they're in front of you. And and that's just what their pathway for yeah. is. Maybe lean on his teammate, Kirk Bush, who's really yeah. been good Great there point. over the Great years. Point. So if you haven't had something that's working, let's go talk to Kirk Bush. What are they running and, and what can he do to help me? Hey, Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.